Sorry about that. I uh, keep forgetting to turn off the recording before I reach the 10 minute limit. I should probably buy this thing, but I'm cheap. I know. You got you have the box, take hold of the wood thing, move back and forth, and it breaks. Then if you want, you can move these barrels. You can't get into the room otherwise, ordinarily. Or you can just do what we're going to do. Pull that lever. Jump down here. Jump, I said, I said jump. And head down here. And now we're about to enter one of my least favorite parts in the game that I've played so far. I've played about halfway through. The Cellar Archives. Also known... He crashed to the surface of the Dark Atlantic Water, smothered him as he struggled makes sense of the situation. Also known as the Water. Now this looks nice, doesn't it? Well lit. Kind of pretty. Yeah, not for long. Shadow wars, lights go out, briefly. Now it's full of water, and you need to run as fast as you can. Jump. Alright, now there's an invisible thing splashing in the water after you. That is the carrick. It will kill you. You have to avoid it. Jump on the box. Pull this lever. Run. Hop on the boxes as you go. Hop on more boxes. Up over here, up over there. Up on these boxes, up on these boxes. Oops, don't fall off the boxes. Up over here, up over here. Up, 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 up. Run, 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 Up, 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 I said, up. No, don't fall off. Up. Now we're through the first half of the water park. Now for the part I really dislike. I'm probably going to die here. A lot. Pick up this body part, throw it over there. Wait for the camp to go eat that. Knock these crates off. Now you can actually kill the camp. Both the camps. All the camps. But uh that's actually rather troublesome. I've managed to kill these in the past. But it, I think it's actually easier not to. Because it's really just kind of abusing a glitch anyhow. Or causing my glitch, but... You get what I'm saying, I'm sure. It's not what the designers probably really intended. I think they intended for you to make a little platform, like this. Now, it's hard to tell, but what we're working toward... Uh, is that gate over there. And ideally, you don't make any noise as you move from box to box. Just carefully making your way over to that paper style thing. Whatever. And hopefully you don't pull off boxes like I just did. That, that, that's very bad. And I just live and it knocked out the box. No, oh, hey, that's no fair. No fair. Alright, the character just knocked me off the box because it's, it's an asshole. That's I don't think it's supposed to be able to knock you off the box like that. But it did. I think I was crouching. Yes, I know that. You're not very helpful. Now let's see where we are now. And we're back over here. Alright, great. Shoot, shove that over there. Wait for the camp. You do 
didn't lose any by doing it, by the way. So it's probably about doing that. So keep attack. Run like bloody uh, Oh great, they've moved, they've closed the gate. Let's cut the gate. This other room. And it's behind the door. Hopefully it won't break the door, but it probably will. No, only one thing left to do. I did, by the way, skip a side with that, so I just hope the was not dying. Now, we have a hollow needle, use it to take the lock on the door. Go to the second part of the water part. This one I actually think is easier. Something large brushed against his leg and he felt himself being dragged along the by the current of the beast, he pushed himself above the surface. Help! He cried as the ocean swallowed him again. Now this one is much more straightforward than the other one in that you just have to run very fast, as fast as you possibly can. Now if you can, in fact, close doors behind you to slow down the current. I don't usually bother. I just open the doors. being hoisted out of the ocean. The lacquered hole of SS Mertensia glittered in the soothing warm yellow light of a setting sun. He turned his head to calm ocean, reaching toward the coast of Portugal and thought, is this another dream? But now, now we are out of the water part. We don't have to deal with that nasty evil camp. A few cuts and bruises, crystal clear, excellent. And this is the back hall with some of the prettiest music in the game. And one of the creepiest fountains in the game. In fact, the only fountain in the game. Uh, let's see. Up there is the guest room and the study, I think it is, uh, respectively. And down here is one of the scariest parts of the game. After the water, of course. And it is here that I am going to be going next. Storage. And we'll see that in the next part. See you!